Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to learn how to add new subscribers from Google Sheets. So Google Sheet is a spreadsheet program where we can create and share the spreadsheets. While Pabli email marketing, it is our own product of Pabli. Pabli email marketing is an email marketing service which helps in sending bulk emails which is used for campaigning purposes. Okay, so here in this use case, I want that whenever a new row is added in my Google Sheet, it should get updated in my Pabli email marketing as a subscriber. A new subscriber should be added in my email marketing. So, uh, but the major problem here is there is no direct connection between Google Sheets and Pabli email marketing. So, how to do this? So, for this, we are going to use a third party software that is Pabli Connect. Okay. So, basically, Pabli Connect is a automation and integration software which will help us in integrating Google Sheets with Pabli email marketing. So here the best part is that uh, it can be done in few simple steps. Even a non-technical person can do this and it, uh, it doesn't require the coding skills and programming knowledge. So let us check this in the real time. Now this is my Google Sheet. I want that whenever I create a new entry over here the subscriber should get added in my uh, uh, email marketing uh, service. Okay, so here uh, let me create an entry. I am giving the name as uh, Ran and I'll give the email ID as Ran123 at sorry at the rate gmail.com. Okay, now let us check our Pebbly email marketing. Uh, I'll just click on WooCommerce subscribers. Now here we can see that ran123 at gmail.com has been added. But you might be wondering how did I manage to add my subscribers from this Google Sheet to my Pebbly email marketing account. So let me tell you I have done this in just three simple steps and it is very easy. Now let us move on to steps. At step 1, connect Google Sheets to Pabli Connect with the help of Webhook URL. It means first we have to go to Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect is going to give us a Webhook URL. That Webhook URL we have to paste it in the Google Sheets which will create an integration between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. Okay. At step 2, collect the data from the Google Sheets in Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is going to to capture the data from Google Sheets. Okay. At step 3, send the same data to Pabli email marketing from Pabli Connect. So here at step 3, all the data which Pabli Connect has captured from Google Sheets, the same data will be forwarded to Pabli email marketing. So here basically we are creating an integration between Google Sheets and Pabli email marketing using Pabli Connect. Okay. So now Come, let us learn the steps. Uh, let us learn the actual process. For this, let us type P A B B L Y, pabli.com in our browser. Let's open it. Okay, it is getting open. Okay, so now. As you are the first time, uh, here we have to click on products and we have to move to connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I'll just click on sign in option. Here we have to scroll down and we'll have to open, uh, we have to come to connect and let's click on access now. Now, this is the dashboard of Pebbly Connect. Okay, here we have to click on this plus sign, create workflow. Now, it is asking for the workflow name. I am giving the workflow name as Google Sheets to Pebbly Email Marketing. Okay, and let's click on create.
okay it is getting open okay so now here we can see a trigger window and an action window so you might be thinking what is trigger what is action so let me just tell you that pably connect works on the concept of triggers and actions trigger means when this happens action means do this so in this case when a new row is added in the google sheet then it should create a subscriber in pably email marketing so in the trigger window let us open the trigger window and select the application as google sheets okay it is opening okay now here we can see trigger event here the trigger event would be new spreadsheet row i am selecting this now we can see a webhook url is given so uh, and uh, along with that some steps are also given let us read the first step create a new spreadsheet then navigate to the add-ons and click on get add-ons so i have already created a spreadsheet let us move to our spreadsheet first let me just open my spreadsheet okay and my spreadsheet is uh, this shopify subscriber i'm just opening it it is opening okay so we can see i have already created a, a google sheet that is shopify subscribers now here we have to click on add-ons and we have to click on get add-ons it has taken us to google workspace marketplace here we we need to search pably connect webhooks now you have to install pably connect webhooks on your system as you can see it is already been installed on my system so i'm just closing it but remember once you install pably connect webhooks on your system you have to refresh your google sheet so i'm just refreshing my google sheet okay now it is getting refreshed now again we have to go to add-ons and this time okay it is taking a time to load okay yes it is loaded now okay now we have to move to pably connect webhooks and we have to click on initial setup here we can see it is showing a webhook url so basically it is the same url which pably connect was offering here so we have to just copy this we have to move to our google sheet and we'll just paste it over here okay now here we can see the trigger column is also asking so what is the trigger column the instructions are given below the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook url so in my case i have the data in column a as well as in column b so i am i want the data or, or to be captured in both these columns so i am selecting it as column b but in case you have the data till column g so you can take the trigger column as column g okay now let us click on send test now no data are found in row 2 as we don't have any details over here so it is showing no data found i'm just clicking on submit and i'll just fill up some details name say mark michael and email id say michael m51 at the rate gmail.com okay so now let us move to add on spably connect webhooks initial setup and let us just click on send test this time so we can see test data sent successfully okay now let's click on submit now again we have to go to add on spably connect webhooks and this time we have to go to send on event option so let me tell you what is this send on event basically when we click on this send on event whenever the next time a new row is created over here 
it, the Pabli Connect is going to automatically capture the data. Okay, so let's click on send on event. Now let's move to Pabli Connect. When we scroll down, it is waiting for webhook response. Okay, let's wait for some time. It is capturing the data. Now we can see the response is received. Name as Mark Michael, email ID and uh, name and email addresses are uh, fetched over here. Okay, so we have done it successfully. Now, at action step, what we are going to do in the action step, we are going to select Pabli email marketing. In the action event, we are going to select it as add subscribers. There are so many options available. Create email template, create subscriber list. So this time I'm selecting as add subscribers. You can select it as per your requirement. Now let's click on connect. Now here I have to click on add new connection. Now here, let's move down. It is asking for a token over here. So let us read the instructions. Enter your bearer token. So you can find the above detail by logging to your Pabli email marketing account. After login, go to integrations, then developer API as shown in the below screenshot. Okay, the screenshot is also given. So let's move to uh, Pabli email marketing account. So let us again open pabli.com. Again, we have to go to products, click on connect, let us sign in and this time we can see the products over here, subscription bill, billing, email marketing, form builder. So this time we are going to click on access now in email marketing. We are going to access email marketing. So I'm just clicking on this. It is getting open now. This is the dashboard of Pabli email marketing. Okay, now here we can see the subscribers. Here the subscribers are given. So, what was mentioned? Let us move to Pabli Connect again. We want the bearer token from Pabli email marketing. So, let us move to integrations. Now, here this time we have to move here integrations. Let's click on this. Now here, developer API is given. We have to click on this developer API. It is opening. Okay, and now he, here we can see, here is your bearer token. So we just have to select it. Let's copy this bearer token and then paste it over here. Okay, I'm just pasting it. And let's click on save. Now here we can see uh, list name is showing email name. So basically we can see the list name as default list, Google Sheets, Shopify customers. So uh, the, these are the lists which we have already created in our Pabli email marketing. Okay, so I'll just show you. When I go to my subscribers, here you can see the list names are mentioned, okay? Default list, Google Sheets, Shopify customer uh, subscribers, WooCommerce subscribers. So the same data is fetched over here, okay? So this time I want the list to be Shopify subscribers, so I'm selecting this. Now it is asking for the email and name. So what we have to do, the data which we have filled in this Google Sheet, it has been uh, fetched over here. So the same data we are going to map now. Name as Michael, Mark Michael and email ID. We are going to map these details over here. So let us map the details. New spreadsheet row and select the email address. Now name also. Let's move to Google Sheets. The name as Mark Michael. Okay, so we have to map the details. Now let us click on save and send test request. Now here, 
we can see the status as success and the message is showing that list updated successfully total events in the list is one let us save it data saved successfully great now when we move to our subscribers let us open this shopify custom subscribers and here we can see mark michael the entry which we have done in a shopify subscribers uh, google sheet it has been updated okay see the same details have been updated over here so now let us make another one more entry and say it as adam smith okay and email id is smith adam 99 at the rate gmail.com okay now let us move to our subscriber list again let us just refresh it and here we can find adam smith okay so each time whenever a new row is added over here the name or email address is added in this google sheet the Pabli email marketing is going to capture the same data every time. Okay, so basically our integration is working fine. Okay, now let's move to our Pabli Connect and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. Okay, I'm just minimizing these windows. Okay, so here our use case was uh, whenever a new row is created in my Google Sheet, it should automatically add the subscribers in my Pabli email marketing okay so we have selected google sheets in our trigger column and we have selected Pabli email marketing marketing in our action window okay so in this we in this uh, we have already successfully created an integration between google sheets and Pabli email marketing okay so not just these applications we can uh, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. So if you have any queries, you can contact us at admin at .com. Also, the link of Pabli Connect as well as the workflow is available in the description. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.